степан бича очень интересно The idea is for you to do two years at Palm Beach State and two years somewhere else. Or you can stay at Palm Beach State since we have some bachelor options. That's completely up to you. Always get the entrepreneurship. And the health um, career field will always be health management. So if you come straight here out of high school and you start, you, you try to go for your AA degree, <coughs> and this is pretty similar for AS too, because it's still, you know, the same price per credit. One class at Palm Beach State College costs about $303, okay? And if you take, how many classes did I say you needed for your AA degree? 20 classes, right? So you need a total of 20 classes for your AA degree. If you do 20 multiplied by 303, that's 6,060, okay? For your two-year degree at Palm Beach State. If you try to go straight to a public university, this is how much you're gonna pay, approximately a little over twelve thousand. A little bit over twelve thousand dollars. All right. And if you try to go to a public, to a private university like Nova, that's about sixty-four thousand there, and then a hundred and thirty thousand two hundred dollars at UM for a two-year university. I know. Yeah. Um, so this is just to give you an idea, and you guys can make your decision based on the information. We also have scholarships that you guys can apply to. Um, we always recommend that you apply to as many as possible because you never know what you're going to get. Students are leaving those on the table, so there's money there that needs to be spent. Um, definitely just apply because, you know, it's if it doesn't pay for your book, you could save it because um, you're going to be getting so much. You might as well, you know. You don't know um, what you're gonna be able to use it for in the future, so the more the merrier. These are Palm Beach State College scholarships as well. You can take a picture of that if you'd like. So if you do have a GPA of 3.5 or above, um, you can, and you have college ready test scores like SAT, ACT, you can apply for this. I should say though this, Presidential Honors College Scholarship, that's reserved, you have to be part of the Honors College Program. This one, you get, so this one you get 6,000 per year. If you get 6,000 per year, that's already $12,000. Tuition at Palm Beach State for the two years, 6,000. So you're already saving money right there. Or getting paid to go to school. <laughs> so we also have this foundation scholarship. You complete one application and you're considered for over 200 scholarships. So the financial aid, what does FAFSA stand for? It stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that throughout the years, like FAFSA, FAFSA. Um, it is a free application. You shouldn't have to pay to complete it. It opens up every October 1st, okay? So every October 1st, make sure you are, um, you know, keeping up and completing this application. The, these are basically you, they're gonna ask for tax documents from your parents if you're under 24. If you're over 24, um, you're gonna be using uh, your personal information. So they're gonna ask for two years prior. For If you're going in the summer, it's considered 2020, it's gonna be considered summer 2023. So you'd have to complete, um, you'd have to provide your tax information from, from 2020, because it's 2022, 2023. It gets confusing, but TRIO, or you know, anyone that's helping you in TRIO will know what to ask you to bring. Now, when you do get financial aid, there are two types of financial aid. The first is grants, Pell Grants. That's what everyone's hoping to get. The maximum they were giving uh, last year was about 6895 for that one year. That's free, you do not have to pay it back. You just have to make sure you know, you're know you keeping up with your grades. 
to stay in good standing academically. And then the second types of financial aid are loans. There are two types of loans. There's subsidized loans, that means the interest is paid by the Department of Education as long as you're still in school. The unsubsidized means that the minute you accept the loan, you're responsible for that um, interest. So you, if you get the maximum amount here, you're already gonna be covered for your tuition at Palm Beach State. So there's no need to take loans to rack up debt unnecessarily because it's not fun. Okay, you guys understand how loans work? Yeah, okay. And this is um, our Instagram page. If you wanna follow us, you can. Um, this is one of our student ambassadors. She's everywhere on campus. Her poster is all over. <laughs> she graduated this year. Do you guys have any questions? You can also take a picture of this. These are my colleagues. Um, like I said, I'm a student recruiter here. Um, we have different Students in there, but you can take a peek. Presidents. Oh, wow. My husband is here. I didn't know he sat here. I don't get it. Line, my line. line. I am slender. I am fine. In yeah. your shirt pocket or in a will. Through me, your words, you will. What am I? A pencil, right? Or a pen? Yeah. Do I win? I think you can just take it. So this area is, this is our technical building. Most of our computer labs are here. Um, they also, on the second floor, that's where you'll find the math lab. Also have a gallery in there. So everything on the walls are student artwork. You can check those out.
Three like guaranteed ones. We have the fine arts student show, the graphic design student show, and then we have the faculty show. Those are like the guaranteed throughout the year. And then we have other ones that may or may not like pop up. There was this one professor that would do that, make you come out here, get information for an assignment and stuff. So if you do end up getting that professor, at least you know where you This is about the history of the college and some of the past presidents and some um, people who have you know, donated um, to make the college happen. Favorite strong seats. So it took me a little bit more time this to do that. And so basically it was an all day type of thing. Let's go that way. Sorry. Uh, I was trying to come here and get support at the Veteran Success Center. Uh, another great resource. <clears throat> they have a lounge area, they have like their own personal area here and get some help. <clears throat> or ask some questions about your status and so on. So that's registration and admissions. So those things I was helping you guys do with the onboarding stuff, they also can help with that. And they tell you that it needs to be proctored on campus. This is where you would come and uh, take your missed test or missed exam. The advisors are in that building, so you'd go in there and sign in and they would pick on you. The home games are pretty much there. The baseball field is all the way on the other side. Yeah, we can cross the street. Sometimes Pilates takes off things off the fence. Right now, it is under the, uh, <clears throat> there's a partnership with the YMCA, so they manage it right now. We can go inside and just take a look.
small, but you know, big enough to. Um, criminal justice program. Um, they want to become police officers. They get to learn how to shoot guns because obviously it's part of their jobs. Um, they do it under the supervision of their instructors. This is not open to all students on campus, specific students who are in the program, and they're not allowed to just go by themselves. They have to be with an instructor. Criminal justice program practice in here a lot. They do a little bit of role play. They bring real judges and real jury members here and allow students to practice, especially those that want to become police officers. A lot of times they you know, give tickets and they have to bear witness in the court. And <laughs> the defense will, of course, try to discredit them. So they have to learn how to compose themselves. They have to learn about um, expressions and all of that. Crime Scene Investigation. On January 18, 2021, I was dispatched to Palm Beach State College, so Congress Avenue Lake Worth Building 118, located at blah blah blah. I arrived, I arrived in 640. <clears throat> Wait, it's it's nothing of nothing which I <laughs> feel inside here. Yeah? I arrived at 6.42 a.m. I first noticed yellow crime scene tape. No, I don't want to read it. It's you look like a real judge. Yes. Bang on the gavel. Yeah. 